one thing that you might be asked to do is to have a look at an algorithm which has already been written and look at uh, and try and spot mistakes within it. And when you do this, you want to be looking for two different types of errors. The first one is syntax errors. So that is where you're looking for mistakes in the grammar of the code. And the other one is logic errors. Have a look at the video all about errors if uh, if you can't remember what these things are. And logic errors are where the code works, um, but it works in ways which is unexpected. So what we're going to do is show you an example algorithm. So here's one. Uh, and what's really important for us to do is really read what the algorithm is meant to do first off. If we don't do that, then we're not sure what the algorithm is meant to do and we can't fix the code. So let's have a quick uh, look at this. An algorithm is written to calculate the cost of a camping trip. It is £10 per person. If there are more than five people, the overall cost is increased by 20%. Okay. Once we've read that, we know what the algorithm is meant to do. Then we can start to have a look at our code here and see if we can spot any sort of problems uh, with it. Right, first thing I'm going to do is try and cover the syntax errors. So are there any syntax errors in here? See if you can spot those. I'll tell you the here. At the bottom it says there are four errors overall. I'll give you a clue and say there's one syntax error in this. So see if you can spot it. And I'll give you a moment or two. And here you can pause the video if you need to. Um, here we go then. So the, result, so the first error is here. So having, I've got here, I've got a, a pair of speech marks here, but I haven't got a spare pair of speech marks closing uh, a particular string. Now that uh, will cause a syntax error and stop your code uh, from being uh, from being compiled or interpreted. Okay, so that's the syntax errors done. Let's uh, start working through the algorithm then and figure out what the logic errors are. So to do this, I need to test the algorithm with, with suitable test data. And if I'm reading through, um, it's ten, I've got this £10 per person thing, and I, it's, if there are more than five people, the overall cost is increased by 20. That suggests I'm going to need to do two tests, one where there's more than five people and one where there's less than five people. I'm going to do the less than five people first. So I'm going to do people... Uh, equals three. All right, I'm making up my own test data for that. Let's work through the algorithm then. What we'll see what happens if people equals three. So we'll start on this line here. So I've set people equals three. So I've got a, a box there, a variable called people, uh, and it's got the value three in it. And then I've got here cost equals ten. Now it's instantly a little bit suspicious, but we won't worry about that now. So I'm on the second line. Cost equals ten. So cost. Uh, now has the value 10 in it. Next line, this one here, where I'm looking at the if statement. If people equals 5, then, well, people doesn't equal 5, and I'm not worried about this bit where it being more than 5 for now, although I can see something's a bit suspicious there. So I'm just going to skip past uh, what's in this if statement and go to the end of the if statement, which will bring me to this line here, this last line, last line, print cost. So I'm going to print out cost. So what's the result that I'm getting from my algorithm at the moment? It's 10. What should it be? Well, have a look, let's have a read again. An algorithm is written to calculate the cost of a camping trip. It is £10 per person. And I've said I've got three people. So the result is 10, but I should be getting 30. So I've instantly found a problem. Where's it going wrong? Well, the most likely candidate is this line here, cost equals 10. That should be multiplied by the number of people. So let's fix this, uh, this bit here. So that should be cost times by people. All right, that's my first problem sorted. With that done, let's move on and let's try and do a different test. So if I've got people equals three and I work through that algorithm again now, I know I'm going to end up with 30. But let's try and see what happens if I've got more than five now. Before I go any further this time, I'm going to actually figure out what the result is in advance. So if I have people, um, if I have six people, what should the cost of it be? Well, it should be um, six times by 10 because it's 10 pound per person. So it should be 60, but then it's going to get increased by 20%. So 60, 10% uh, 10, 10, 10 of 60 is six. So I know I'm adding 12 there to it. That'd be 20%. So what I should end up with here is 72. That's the result I should get. Let's see what, what happens. Um, so people equals six. That's what I've decided. So I'm going to put people there. Uh, cost equals 10 times by people. So that means I've got six times by 10. So I've got 60 there. It's all going okay so far. If people equals five, then what well, does people equal five? No, it equals six. So something's clearly gone wrong here. This if statement here isn't checking to see if there are more than five people. It's checking to see if there are five people. And that is a very different thing. So that needs to be replaced with a different sign and we want the greater than sign so that's our third error that we found there okay so if people greater than five 
then cost equals cost times by 1.1. So that's going to increase it by 10%. And that is definitely not the right value, is it? That should be 20%. So here I'm going to end up with 66, aren't I? So that's my last mistake. I need to change in the algorithm. That shouldn't be 1.1. It should be 1.2. Okay. So there's my four errors I've found. One syntax errors and three logic errors all sort of packed together. And I've done that by just running through some test data. So that's for a fairly straightforward algorithm, but if you stick to the same principles of more complex algorithms and just track what's in the variables, run a test with known test data, check to see if the result is okay, then you can easily spot problems in any kind of algorithm. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.